The Pimax Crystal Supra is a high resolution, high PBD headset with a fairly decent FOV, so of course it needs a beefy GPU to run it. In this video, I'm going to be benchmarking it against a Pimax Crystal Lite and seeing at what point and the image quality setting in Pimax Play, they start to become comparable in terms of performance. I'll go over a few other things as well, including the narrow mode, which is surprisingly beneficial in some circumstances to some people but we'll kick things off talking about the fov now of course feel free to pause it here and check out the numbers but it's fair to say that the super is actually a pretty decent jump in fov i'm getting 124 degrees personally of course that will vary from person to person due to face shape and ipd etc so for context i've also put up the fov that i personally get in the quest 3 Starting things off then with Pimax Play at 1.00, which is the high preset. We've got the Crystal Light on the left, the Crystal Super on the right. And you can see in the FPS VR display, I'm not getting 90 FPS in either headset. And that's to be expected, they're both incredibly high resolution, despite having a 5090. And as I say, all in-game settings are as high as they will go, except MSAA, that's medium, not high. And I believe I have pit crew off, not that that makes any difference, but yeah. I don't expect to get 90, we're certainly not getting it. And of course the light is achieving a much higher FPS than the Super, but it is a lower resolution. Take a look there at the actual rendered resolution, which includes barrel distortion and whatnot. Obviously it has to render a lot higher than we see. And the light there is at 4,312 by 5,104, whereas the Super is at 6240 by 6280 um, the headsets are listed at the light being 2880 by 2880 and the super at 3840 by 3840 so yeah they're rendering ridiculously high resolutions um, to get the end result of what we see in the headset I'm just going to let the lap play out. The driving isn't the best, but I'll keep my eyes really on the FPS more than the road. Uh, but there will be timestamps so you can skip ahead to the next section. Okay, now we're looking at the light on 1.00, so still high in Pimax Play on the left, but the Crystal Super on the right is at 0.75, which is the medium preset. The reason I've done this is because they basically perform the same. Now resolution-wise, we've still got the light rendering at 4,312 by 5,104. The Super though is at 4,680 by 4,708. And what this means is they are essentially rendering very close the same number of pixels. And as such, the performance is very similar. And as you watch the lap play out, you'll see that it hits roughly, you know, ballpark, it's, it's not exact one-to-one, -one, but it's very close the same FPS in the same areas of the track and as we move on you'll notice each time we drop one level again they stay about the same so the light of 1.00 is very comparable indeed to the super at 0.75 
Okay, so this time round I'm not actually using any of the Pimax Play presets for image quality. I'm hitting the customize button and setting the slider to 0.95 for the light and 0.70 for the super. But again, you can see the performance between the two is very comparable indeed. The important thing to note here is that for the first time, I can confidently get 90 FPS pretty much for the whole app, and certainly without OBS running, I definitely can for the whole app. And finally, my last side-by-side -side comparison with the light at 0.90, the Super at 0.65. And again, we can see the performance is highly comparable. Now, in fact, this is the FPS I'd really be getting at 0.70 without OBS running. So OBS is a little bit of a hit for me here. But we can see this is truly the first time, once the lap has started properly, that it's locked really to 90 FPS. And 0.65 may sound like one heck of a undersample, way below native resolution, but the important thing to remember is the Super is a massively high resolution to begin with. 0.65 may sound a, a massive drop, but it still looks amazing, and as I say, it's comparable to 0.90 in the light, when myself and many others would happily run the light at medium which is 0.75 that's still a great could throw whatever at it get 90 fps well i was happy with that and this is even higher so 0.65 on the super isn't anything to be worried about and you can go into buying it knowing you don't have to be hitting full native resolution in most circumstances nobody is so yeah 0.65 still looks great personally without OBS running I'm sticking to 0.7 and 0.7 is my standard for now and I can just leave it there I don't want to be fiddling with it for every game and every setting I pretty much leave it 0.7 and throw whatever at it so yeah that will do it for the side by side lastly I'm going to talk about one final setting which may give you a little boost in performance with a much smaller impact on visuals than you might expect.
The last thing we're going to look at is the option in Pimax Play to set a narrow field of view. Now, I know I know nobody wants to intentionally lower their field of view, but hear me out. This can be a one click solution to boost your FPS without such a big impact on visuals as you might think. Take a look there on screen. You can see my Quest 3 FOV at the top, which is almost identical to what I get in the super narrow and no one really complains about the quest 3 fov sure we want more but you know it's perfectly fine and it's still higher than i'm getting in the crystal light anyway so it's just something there can to consider uh it's an option which is great i love that pimax are adding in these options for us and in fact there are situations where it does make sense for example in microsoft flight simulator if you fly ifr if you're flying the airline as you focus on the glass cockpit type in stuff into the little screen and what have you then a narrower field of view doesn't make that much of an impact whereas resolution does so sacrificing a bit of FOV for that high resolution makes sense whereas me I only really fly VFR I like to just fly low look out the window so I want more FOV for immersion and resolution matters just a little less for me so there are situations it makes sense and there's probably other examples out there but the important thing is there as an option in short the super in narrow mode has a better resolution and fov than the crystal light it may be that you're considering a crystal light because your gpu won't handle a super well now you could potentially consider a super knowing you can put it in narrow mode and you won't be losing anything over buying a crystal light and of course, down the line, should you upgrade your GPU, you can come out of narrow mode and unlock the full potential of the Crystal Super. The narrow mode shouldn't be overlooked, shouldn't be ignored. It's useful for some people and in certain situations, and it could potentially be the difference between choosing a Crystal Light over a Crystal Super and future-proofing yourself. There is also an option in Pimax Play for a larger FOV, but it's listed as lab, which just means experimental, I suppose. And that makes sense because it does increase the FOV, but it's not comfortable to use. Hopefully they can improve it and it'll be useful in the future, but I suppose there's only so much they can do, hence why the ultra wide module exists. But it's there, you can have a go at it and we'll see if it gets better over time. But for now, that'll do it from me. Any comments or questions, drop them below, and I'll always try to answer. Otherwise, I shall catch you later. Cheers.